advice you have for HR leaders to encourage them in, in a, a difficult journey managing the HR function? Keeping to, to be relevant. To be relevant. In fact, I myself has been hard. I mean, every one of us are learning in our own journey. I think the biggest learnings that I get, uh, that I got from a, a, a former leader, is we have to be fearless. For the past seven years of my career in HR, um, personal situation resulting me in wanting to make sure that I, I, I maintain my job, the fear piece. So I make sure I do everything, I'm hungry, I'm motivated, I'm doing all kinds of things to make sure I develop myself as a HR practitioner. But I do that out of fear, which is a good motivation. But over time, as you climb up the ladder, you are required to be fearless because when your business asks you to make a stand, a person who is in fear will give you a wonderful answer that's sitting in the, on the fence. Yes, you can do this. These are the things we can do. No, we can do this. Also, we can do this. So when you sit on the fence, as you climb up the ladder, you are becoming irrelevant. So my advice for HR leaders, depending on the stage you are in, if you leave, in, I mean, you do this for fear, it is good. It is motivating. It is, you still can operate. But as you move up the ladder where your requirements and your inputs require you to make a stand, you need a different source of motivation. So that different source of motivation is fear. I mean, being fearless. Knowing your fear, why are you worried? At the end of the day, for Singaporeans who are based here in Singapore, we are in a very fortunate place. This is a place where unemployment is low. What worst can you do to your career? In fact, the worst thing you can do in your career is not experiment, not thinking out of the box. And that's where we will slowly become irrelevant. Hey, as a HR leader, how do you empower your middle managers in the HR function to, to, to assist you to, to deliver results to meet organizational goals? So the question down here is how do I open up the cannons and having every cannon firing at every second? Again, I talk about fear just now. So if you flip it around, is how do you as a leader of people enable a safe environment where your people are able to speak up, are able to think differently, are able to do things without fear. So the question down here is how do you create a safe environment? And my advice down here would be to be naked. To be naked, to be vulnerable in front of your people. Let them know your fears, let them know your weaknesses, let them know your strength. But be naked and have a candid conversation and to the point of letting and, and demonstrating to them, it's okay to make mistakes, create a safe environment and making it sure that they see and they have a very visible sight to how do they add the value to the business and let them run the show. Make calculated risk. What is the fear? You know, let your media managers try it out at a smaller setting when you have campus engagement. Let them run the show and instead of you speaking to the audience, what harm can your media manager do when you speak in front of a young cohort of students who are learning? So let your manager learn. So I think safe environment, uh, I think, and, and, and letting uh, your people know that you are vulnerable and you need them and let them succeed you if need be. Let them be stronger than you. Don't have that fear.